Have you ever met someone who seems to understand everyone around them with an uncanny depth, yet occasionally retreats into an aura of aloofness? Today, we unravel the intriguing world of Sigma empaths, exploring why these individuals, known for their profound empathy, sometimes appear cold-hearted. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic, seven reasons why do Sigma empaths become cold-hearted now? You might be wondering, what exactly is a Sigma Empath? Sigma Empaths are a unique blend of personality traits. They possess an extraordinary ability to empathize deeply with others, often perceiving emotions beyond what's outwardly expressed. Unlike other Empaths, Sigmas are known for their independent nature and strong sense of self-reliance. They navigate the emotional landscapes of others while maintaining a certain distance, which can sometimes be misunderstood as coldness. So, why do these individuals, who are so in tune with emotions, occasionally appear distant or cold-hearted? Today, we'll explore seven compelling reasons behind this phenomenon, shedding light on the complexities of being a Sigma empath in a world full of emotional dynamics. Reason 1. Overwhelmed by empathic sensitivity. Imagine being able to feel the emotions of everyone around you as if they were your own joy, sorrow, anxiety all at once. For Sigma Empaths, this heightened sensitivity to emotional energy is both a gift and a burden. They absorb emotions deeply, often without intending to, which can quickly become overwhelming. Picture a crowded room where every whispered worry or hidden heartache bombards their senses like a tidal wave. This constant barrage of emotions can lead to a crucial survival mechanism emotional shutdown. When overwhelmed, Sigma Empaths may instinctively retreat into themselves, creating a shield against the flood of external feelings. It's not a choice to become distant, but a necessary pause to regain emotional balance. This withdrawal can be mistaken for coldness, yet beneath the surface lies a delicate balancing act between empathy and self-preservation. Consider Sarah, a Sigma Empath working in a bustling office environment. Her co-workers admire her ability to understand their moods without a word spoken. However, as deadlines loom and tensions rise, Sarah finds herself engulfed in a sea of stress and frustration. Unable to filter out the emotional noise, she gradually withdraws to protect her own emotional well-being. To outsiders, Sarah may appear distant or aloof, unaware of the invisible battle she fights to maintain her inner equilibrium. In essence, the apparent cold-heartedness of Sigma Empaths stems not from indifference, but from a profound sensitivity that demands occasional retreat for self-preservation. It's a nuanced dance between absorbing the world's emotions and finding moments of solitude to recalibrate a testament to the intricate nature of empathy in all its complexities. Reason 2. Constant Betrayals and Disappointments Now, Let's delve into another facet of the Sigma Empath's journey navigating a world where trust can feel like a fragile thread. Sigma Empaths, with their keen intuition and deep emotional insight, often form connections that are intense and profound. However, this very sensitivity can make them susceptible to repeated betrayals and disappointments. Imagine Alex, a Sigma Empath who values authenticity above all else. In relationships, whether personal or professional, Alex's ability to sense underlying emotions allows them to forge bonds built on trust and mutual understanding. Yet, this heightened awareness also exposes Alex to the raw realities of human fallibility. Friends who confide in Alex one day might betray that trust the next. Colleagues who seem supportive may later undermine their efforts. These experiences of betrayal and disappointment can erode the emotional resilience of Sigma empaths. Each breach of trust feels like a dagger to the heart, shaking their belief in the goodness of others. Over time, this can lead to a cautious approach to relationships, a protective layer that shields them from further hurt. To outsiders, this cautiousness might be misconstrued as coldness or detachment. Consider the impact on Alex, who, despite their empathic abilities, finds themselves retreating from social circles after a series of disappointments. The warmth that once radiated from Alex now seems distant, replaced by a guarded demeanor. This transformation isn't a rejection of empathy, but a survival strategy, a way to preserve their emotional well-being in a world where trust can be fragile. 
In essence, the perceived cold-heartedness of Sigma empaths often stems from a history of navigating treacherous emotional terrain. Each betrayal leaves a mark, shaping their approach to future interactions and influencing how they manage their empathic abilities. Understanding this journey sheds light on the complexities of empathy and resilience, highlighting the delicate balance between openness and self-protection that Sigma empaths navigate daily. Reason 3 desensitization to protect themselves. Now let's uncover another layer of the Sigma Empath's emotional journey, the process of desensitization as a shield against persistent emotional pain. For Sigma Empaths, who absorb and process emotions with remarkable depth, constant exposure to others' turmoil can take its toll. Over time, this can lead to a gradual numbing of emotions, a protective mechanism to prevent overwhelming emotional inundation. Imagine Mia, a Sigma empath working in a high-stress environment where conflicts and crises are the norm. Initially, Mia's empathic nature allows her to connect deeply with colleagues and clients, offering support and understanding in times of need. However, as the demands grow and the emotional weight intensifies, Mia finds herself instinctively withdrawing. The once vibrant empathy that defined Mia now seems muted, replaced by a subtle detachment a form of self-preservation against emotional exhaustion. This process of emotional numbing isn't a conscious choice, but a gradual adaptation to protect themselves from the constant barrage of emotional stimuli. Sigma empaths may find themselves tuning out certain emotions or situations that once evoked strong reactions. To outsiders, this newfound reserve might be perceived as coldness or indifference, unaware of the internal battle Sigma empaths face to maintain their emotional equilibrium. Consider the impact on Mia, who, despite her initial warmth and empathy, now navigates interactions with a measured distance. Colleagues who once sought Mia's counsel now encounter a more reserved demeanor, a reflection of Mia's ongoing struggle to balance empathy with self-protection. This transformation doesn't diminish Mia's capacity for empathy but reshapes how it's expressed, highlighting the nuanced ways Sigma empaths navigate the complexities of emotional boundaries. In essence, the perceived cold-heartedness of Sigma empaths often stems from a gradual process of emotional desensitization, a survival strategy in an emotionally demanding world. Understanding this journey illuminates the delicate interplay between empathy and self-preservation, offering insights into the resilience of Sigma empaths as they navigate the intricate landscapes of human emotions. Reason 4. Boundary Setting and Isolation Now, let's explore how setting boundaries becomes a crucial aspect of the Sigma empath's journey, often blurring the lines between self-care and perceived coldness. Sigma empaths, with their innate ability to absorb and understand emotions, must navigate a delicate balance between empathy and personal well-being. Setting boundaries becomes essential to maintain emotional stability and prevent burnout. Imagine Ryan, a Sigma empath who works in a dynamic team environment. Ryan's empathy allows them to intuitively grasp the feelings and needs of their colleagues, fostering a supportive and harmonious workplace. However, as demands escalate and personal boundaries are tested, Ryan realizes the necessity of drawing clear lines. This could mean limiting emotional investment in certain relationships or carving out moments of solitude to recharge. For Sigma empaths like Ryan, these boundaries aren't a rejection of others, but a means of self-preservation. By defining what they can and cannot emotionally absorb, Sigma empaths safeguard their mental and emotional health. Yet, this protective measure can sometimes lead to unintended consequences, such as isolation or being perceived as cold-hearted. Consider how Ryan's colleagues, accustomed to their empathic warmth, notice a gradual withdrawal. What they may not realize is that behind Ryan's reserved demeanor lies a conscious effort to maintain inner balance. The once readily available support now appears tempered, prompting misunderstandings about Ryan's intentions. This shift isn't about withholding empathy, but about recalibrating how it's expressed a testament to the evolving nature of boundaries in the realm of empathy. In essence, the perceived cold-heartedness of Sigma empaths often emerges from a careful negotiation of boundaries, an ongoing process of balancing empathy with self-care. 
Understanding this journey offers insights into the complexities of emotional boundaries and highlights the resilience of Sigma empaths as they navigate the intricate landscapes of human connection. Reason 5. Emotional Exhaustion and Burnout Now, let's uncover the profound impact of emotional exhaustion and burnout on Sigma empaths, shedding light on how these experiences can shape perceptions of cold-heartedness despite their empathic nature. Sigma empaths, with their heightened sensitivity and deep emotional insight, often find themselves absorbing not only the joys but also the sorrows of those around them. This constant emotional processing can lead to a state of profound exhaustion. Imagine Maya, a Sigma empath who dedicates herself to supporting loved ones through their emotional struggles. Maya's ability to empathize deeply allows her to offer invaluable comfort and understanding. However, as the demands on her empathy increase, Maya begins to feel drained emotionally spent from carrying the weight of others' emotions. This emotional exhaustion isn't just a fleeting sensation, but a persistent state that affects her ability to engage fully with others. As Maya prioritizes self-care to recover from emotional exhaustion, she may inadvertently appear distant or detached to those accustomed to her empathic warmth. Friends, who once relied on Maya's unwavering support, may now encounter a more reserved presence, a reflection of Maya's need to recharge and protect her emotional reserves. This shift in demeanor can lead to misunderstandings, as Maya's actions are interpreted through the lens of perceived coldness rather than self-preservation. Consider the impact on Maya, who, despite her genuine empathy, finds herself navigating interactions with a heightened sense of caution. The warmth that once defined Maya's relationships now seems tempered by a sense of self-protection, a necessary boundary to prevent further emotional depletion. This transformation isn't a rejection of empathy, but a strategic retreat to replenish her emotional resources and regain inner balance. In essence, the perceived cold-heartedness of Sigma empaths often emerges from a profound experience of emotional exhaustion and burnout an inevitable consequence of their deep empathic engagement. Understanding this journey offers insights into the complexities of empathy and resilience, highlighting the delicate balance Sigma empaths must strike between caring for others and caring for themselves in an emotionally demanding world. Reason 6. Seeking Independence and Autonomy now, let's explore the unique inclination of Sigma empaths towards independence and autonomy, and how this pursuit can sometimes be misconstrued as coldness. Sigma empaths, characterized by their strong sense of self-awareness and introspection, often prioritize autonomy in their emotional and personal lives. This inclination stems from a deep-seated desire for self-reliance and a need to maintain a sense of control over their emotional boundaries. Imagine Jake, a Sigma empath who values his independence fiercely. Throughout his life, Jake has honed his ability to navigate emotional landscapes with a sense of self-assuredness and autonomy. This self-reliance allows Jake to maintain a clear sense of identity and purpose, free from the emotional entanglements that can overwhelm others. However, this pursuit of independence can sometimes be misunderstood by those around him. To external observers, Jake's self-contained nature and preference for solitude may give the impression of aloofness or detachment. Colleagues who seek Jake's advice or friendship might perceive his measured responses as cold or disinterested. What they may not realize is that behind Jake's self-reliance lies a deep empathy and understanding he cares deeply but chooses to express it in ways that preserve his emotional equilibrium. Consider the impact on Jake who, despite his genuine desire for connection, finds himself navigating social interactions with a sense of guardedness. The warmth that emanates from Jake is tempered by a deliberate effort to maintain boundaries, a reflection of his commitment to self-care and emotional stability. This pursuit of independence isn't about rejecting emotional connections, but about fostering them on his own terms a testament to Jake's strength and resilience as a Sigma empath. In essence, the perceived cold-heartedness of Sigma empaths often stems from their intrinsic inclination towards independence and autonomy, a trait shaped by their deep introspection and self-awareness. Understanding this aspect of their journey offers insights into the complexities of empathy and individuality, highlighting the nuanced ways Sigma empaths navigate their relationships and emotional boundaries in pursuit of authenticity and self-preservation. Reason 7. 
evolution of emotional resilience. As we conclude our exploration into the complexities of Sigma empaths, it's crucial to reflect on their journey towards emotional growth and resilience. Sigma empaths, with their innate ability to deeply understand and feel the emotions of others, undergo a profound evolution in navigating their empathic abilities amidst the challenges they face. Throughout their lives, Sigma empaths learn to cultivate emotional resilience, a resilience born from their experiences of overwhelm, betrayal, and emotional exhaustion. Each challenge becomes an opportunity for growth, shaping their understanding of boundaries, self-care, and the delicate balance between empathy and self-preservation. Consider Sarah, Mia, Alex, Maya, Ryan, and Jake each navigating their own unique paths as Sigma empaths. Despite the hurdles they encounter, each one discovers strategies to maintain warmth while protecting themselves. For Sarah, it's learning to take breaks and engage in activities that recharge her emotional energy. Mia finds solace in journaling and mindfulness practices, creating a sanctuary within herself amidst external chaos. Alex sets clear boundaries in relationships, fostering deeper connections built on mutual respect and understanding. Maya prioritizes self-care rituals that replenish her spirit, while Ryan communicates openly about his emotional needs, fostering authentic connections without compromising his well-being. Jake finds strength in solitude and introspection, recognizing that his independence enriches rather than detracts from his capacity for empathy. In essence, the journey of Sigma empaths is one of continuous growth and adaptation, a testament to their resilience and strength in navigating the intricate landscapes of human emotions. By embracing strategies that honor both their empathic nature and personal boundaries, Sigma empaths not only preserve their warmth, but also cultivate deeper connections rooted in authenticity and mutual respect. As we conclude, let's remember that the perceived cold-heartedness of Sigma empaths is not a reflection of their lack of empathy, but a manifestation of their commitment to emotional authenticity and self-preservation. By understanding and appreciating their journey, we gain a deeper insight into the complexities of empathy and resilience and insight that fosters compassion, empathy, and connection in our own lives. Today, we've journeyed through the intricate world of Sigma empaths, exploring the reasons behind why they may sometimes appear cold-hearted despite their profound empathy. We've uncovered how their sensitivity can lead to emotional overwhelm, the impact of repeated betrayals and disappointments on their resilience, and the strategies they employ to balance empathy with self-preservation. It's important to remember that the perceived coldness of Sigma empaths is not a reflection of indifference, but a result of their deep emotional processing and the protective measures they adopt to navigate a world filled with intense emotions. Through their journey, we've seen how setting boundaries, seeking autonomy, and evolving emotional resilience are essential steps in preserving their warmth while honoring their need for self-care. As we conclude, I encourage you to empathize with Sigma empaths and appreciate the complexities of their journey. Let's strive to recognize and support the Sigma empaths in our lives, valuing their unique perspective and contributions to our communities. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more content on empathy, self-awareness, and personal growth. Remember, empathy is a powerful force that bridges differences and fosters connection. By understanding and embracing the experiences of Sigma empaths, we cultivate a more compassionate world where empathy thrives. Together, let's continue to nurture empathy and understanding in our interactions, enriching our lives and those around us. This is Motivation Today. Thanks for watching and stay blessed.